Hey there, everybody. Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. We've got a very special film review for you here today. This particular uh, music documentary was actually first released in 2014. It's now being re-released digitally for the very, very first time by the folks at Freestyle Digital Media. This particular film, or documentary I should say, takes a very close look at the life and career of the late drummer Randy Castillo, who passed away from cancer in 2002. Now, many of you will remember Randy as being a very notable drummer for such acts as Ozzy Osbourne. He actually drummed for Ozzy for quite a number of years. He also played drums for Lita Ford, as well as for a couple of years with Motley Crue. So, very influential musician, drummer, as well as someone who is very, very well liked by his peers. This particular film, okay, again, The Life, the Blood, and the Rhythm of Randy Castillo, uh, originally uh, produced by Cinema One and 18 Lights Pictures, uh, written and directed by Wynn Ponder, and uh, produced by Michael Bell. Basically, the film's roughly about an hour and a half, uh, maybe give or take a couple minutes there. And basically, it is like a kind of, almost like a, a love letter to the life of Randy Castillo as seen and discussed by his uh, family and friends. So we've got, you know, his sisters and his mother who talk very, very lovingly about their fallen brother, uh, his ex-girlfriend, Christina, okay, who was with him in the final years of his life. Uh, and they were very, very happy, you know, together and were planning a life together before um, he came down with cancer. But more importantly for, or not more importantly, but for it, the bulk of the film is based up on kind of interview segments and snippets from many, many of the fellow musicians that Randy either worked with or hung around with or became friends with. So, you know, folks that were in Ozzy's band, so Phil Sasson, Okay, Zach Wild. Uh, you've got some commentary from Lemmy. Okay, Lita Ford, who actually also narrates the entire film. Uh, Matt Sorum, ex of Guns N' Roses. Slash, okay, also from Guns N' Roses. Uh, who else we got here? Bobby Blotzer. Okay, Billy Sheehan. Nikki Six. Vince Neil, his band members in Motley Crue. Um, Jerry Cantrell, Mike Inez from Allison Chains, uh, Stevie Salas, you know, a whole host of people. And if you only knew Randy through his drum work on the many albums he performed with some of the artists I mentioned before, this film will give you an insight is, into the kind of guy that he was, the kind of human being that he was, uh, as you know, in music and out. So a lot of really just real heartfelt, loving memories and stories shared by a lot of these people. You know, whether they, you know, worked in management or in, uh, in PR with Randy and the bands he was in, or whether it's, you know, people he toured alongside with, or musicians from other bands that were on the same bill that spent a lot of time with, and, you know, as well as his family, his sisters, his girlfriend, his mom. Very, very touching stuff. Gives you a little bit kind of behind the scenes look at who the man Randy Castillo was. Talking about, you know, his love for music and, and kind of it gives you a nice retrospective of his musical career from the very, very first bands he was in all the way through to getting the gig with Ozzy and Motley Crue and Lita and various other projects that he worked uh, on with. But uh, more importantly, you get a real sense for, again, who the man was behind the drum kit. So while many people in the world admired him for his drum skills, this whole community of people who knew him well admired him for the really good, nice human being that he actually was. Which makes the whole story even the more, uh, all the more sad when, you know, he came down with this, you know, uh, form of cancer that he basically kind of just put off for a while. He knew something was wrong, but he put it. And this is why, guys, it's no joke. You feel something's wrong with your body, especially as you get older. You know, he was only 51 when he died. You know, you're getting into your 40s and you start to feel something's not right. You got to go to the doctor. 
And it's one of the things that uh, those close to him were imploring him to do, and he kept putting it off, putting it off. And by the time that um, you know he was diagnosed, he was treated, but then it came back. And uh, it's just really sad when you you know watch and listen to people who were close to uh, the person who wound up passing away, as they kind of describe what his, the last few months of his life were. Was uh, it's just really kind of heart wrenching. Uh, especially when you know he had thought he beat the disease and then it came back later on as he was starting to get his life back together but uh, he's left a very rich musical legacy for everybody to enjoy and I think by the time the end of the film comes you know you can you get, you get that from everybody they you know first you get the sadness and you know plenty of folks t telling their story of Randy and breaking down crying um, in, in numerous cases here in this film. So it's uh, even, you know, those of us who never knew Randy, but only knew him as a performer, uh, you can't help but get not get choked up a little bit just kind of watching and listening here. But, you know, towards the end, it's really kind of like a celebration of the life of Randy Castillo. And I think it was a job well done. So you've got interview snippets, you've got some, you know, live cl uh, clips from various performances, uh, kind of, Interesting that Ozzy didn't really take part in this, which is one of the one thing I kind of walked away from uh, was really missing. But um, nonetheless, a very, very well-made film, which, like I said, now is available for you to uh, purchase and stream digitally. I believe it's available on all, most of the regular streaming media services. So if you've never seen this film, I highly recommend it. It's, uh, you know, it gives you a nice snapshot of kind of the 80s and 90s metal scene, but more importantly, a very in-depth look at a, um, you know, a great drummer who did a lot of really, really good things, musically speaking, and touched a lot of people, which in the end, you, you know, you're not going to make a film on a musician's life unless they really touched people, whether from their uh, musical skills or from a personal standpoint or a combination of the two. So uh, again, the life, the blood, and the rhythm of Randy Castillo, well worth seeking out for drummers and uh, hard rock and metal fans alike. So this is Pete Pardo. Visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. Of course, we're here on the mighty YouTube as often as possible. So we will see you real soon with lots of other great content. Take care.